Do you know what this is? This little gadget can make your mountain bike maintenance a little bit easier. Easily stuff up. This is the Top Peak Track Pump 90 degree valve adapter and valve adapters like this one have a couple of uses. I've had this particular valve adapter for a good number of years now. It's a high quality piece of kit, well made, all metal construction. And the reason I'm recommending that you get one of these for your track pump if you do not have one already is to stop you doing things like this. Oh no! So how do you use this little adapter? This is my track pump. I've had it for a good number of years, the same number of years in fact of this adapter. You take the adapter and simply screw it into the end of the pump's hose like this, converting the straight line of the hose to an end that looks like this. Without the adapter end fitted, a pump's hose would screw onto the tyre valve like this. This means the hose is up here and as the hose is not that flexible, I expect in general, case like on this rear wheel, a lot of the things get in the way of that hose forcing it to be bent. You know, things like the hubs, the gears, the chains and the brake discs, those things you need to mountain bike. These things make it difficult to align the hose end and screw the hose onto the valve. As you can see here, this floor is flat and the track pump stands up on its own pretty well. However, I take this pump with me out on the trails where I also might have to do some pumping up. And generally the ground there isn't flat and it's a little bit more windy. And so the pump ends up doing this. This means I need to keep all the things steady while I try to get the hose end aligned with the Presto valve's thread. Without the adapter, there's either results in jamming off the hose's thread or worse, bending the Presto valve nut. Not ideal should you need to bend that back and snap it off. With the adapter fitted to the end of the hose, this eliminates all these interference problems, making the whole job a lot easier and quicker, especially when you're in a hurry and you can pick any side of the bike, get that valve lined up in more accessible places. So that is the main use I have for this adapter, but there is another use which you could find quite useful. And that is you could use this same adapter, take off the end and turn it into a Schrader valve adapter and use it for rear suspension shocks and putting air into them. Depending on the frame design and the position of the shock in that frame can make it difficult to get the shock pump hose in there in those tight spaces and screw it on. An adapter like this can make it a lot easier to use a shock pump if that is the case. There is also a feature in this adapter that's not immediately obvious, and that is inside of here there is a one-way valve which allows air to flow in one direction and not the other. Quite useful if you're trying to blow up a shock. This means if you accidentally lose pressure for whatever reason, the valve inside the valve adapter stops any loss of air. A nice little feature, I think. A very handy little gadget. Hope you found this video useful. I do plan to make more videos like this one on the things I use or have made to make bike maintenance easier and cheaper. So if you like this video, then do please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscription button, and turn on notifications to be sure not to miss future videos. And just to let you know, if you're new to this channel, I also make route description videos with 3D maps and all the details of routes around Scotland. Keep well, keep safe, and I'll catch up with you guys next time.